Hello, great people. Great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are back again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. I am Mazi Okina Okechuku, known as Bia Franchise Washineke, the general. My great people, I am back again with another message. Today's message, I'm not going to show any of video today. But my next video that is loaded, it will shock every one of you. It will shock every one of you. I want us to understand that everything I've been saying, they are all authentic. There is no lie about things that I've been saying. Whenever you hear me saying about Islamization, Flanization, and conquest, they are all authentic. Fulani are coming with conquest. Whenever you hear Islamics, Wahhabi slash jihadist terrorists, they are all real. They are coming to take over your land. They are coming with ethnic cleansing. There is no two ways about it. And you don't have to doubt it at all. Because I have come to stay. And I want you people to understand that nobody pays me. I am doing everything I'm doing willingly. My heart is pure. I want our new generation to have a better life. That is why I'm always here. To tell our people what is about to come so that they, will, they can be able to buckle up their belt and embark on this journey that we all to free our people from slavery. Fulani enslavement, jihadist enslavement, Wahhabis enslavement, and fulanization and Islamization. Now you begin to understand it. Let us talk about reality. Of course, some of you will say, is it not this guy that I know? There is one thing I always tell my people always, that what constant in life is change. What is constant in life is change. Life change as days goes by. Of course, I'm not your regular pastor, priest, or so-called man of God. But believe you me, everything that I'm saying is reality and authentic. Like I said, I have a particular message to some particular group of people. When I get there, I will begin to call their names. Everything I'm saying, I'm not lying about it. Of course, some people will begin to say that you are lying. All these things that is happening today, where is BBC? You can never find them. But they will keep on conniving with Facebook, shutting our page down, doing all manners of things, stopping our viewers, but we don't care. Like I always tell my people, I don't need followers to pass my message. I, the Biafran child, watch naked, the general. I don't need followers to pass my message. I have made myself a figure. When you are talking about media, when we speak, people listen. Because people believe in reality. Authentic one for that matter. So now I'm giving this message again to Southerners. To Southerners in particular. But I have also a message to some group of people in those South people, Southerners. Margaret people pay attention very well and listen very attentively. It's very, very important. All this thing that is happening today, nobody will report your story. Nobody will tell you who you are. You must tell your story so that people will understand the angle that you are coming from. We have come. Let me tell you something, my people. Yoruba Obiduas, they are our brethren. That is why always my message go to Southerners because anything that come to West, definitely some part of them will come to East. That is why we have to buckle up our belt and embark on this journey without any fear of anybody. Don't let these jihadists, don't let this jihadist terrorists put fear in you that is exactly what they are doing but we have some cowardice 
We have some intellectuals that they are blocking our way. And those, this is the people that I have message for them today. Now I want us to pay attention to this very well and listen very careful and make sure that this message get to them, direct to them, please. Direct to them. I am sending a message to Yoruba Odudua Media. I am sending this message to Yoruba Odudua Media. Yoruba Odudua Media, make sure you report everything that is happening in your land. Make sure you report all the killings and maiming of people in your land. Make sure you tell the world, those of your brothers and sisters that are flooding into another country. Let the world know what is happening in your land, Yoruba Media. Don't condone evil. Yoruba Media, this message is direct to you people. Also, the Yoruba's bloggers, talk about things that is happening in your land. Tell the world how they are massacring you people and kidnapping and killing and maiming and taking over your land. Let the world know about that. Don't say because of your political ambition. Don't say because of they have to pay you a brown, brown envelope before you begin to report. Of course, let me tell you people something. We can never on this life again ask people to talk about our stories. We be our friends. We have already made it to media. We have already made it there. We have already getting a space in media. That is why we don't need anybody else to tell us our story. We are already here to tell people who we are and what is happening in our land. And those of you that Yoruba Odudua media that are controlling the media in that contraption called Danilebu Zoo, Nigeria. Report everything that is happening in your land. It's a message. Report it. Because if you condone evil, evil will kill you. If you condone evil, evil will swallow you. Like I said, nobody will tell us our story again. We Biafras. We have already buckled our belt. We have already made it to that level that nobody can tell us what to do anymore. But some of you Yoruba media room in that contraption controlling media Tell your story. Tell the world what is happening in your land. Tell them how Fulani jihadists are killing you. Tell them how jihadists is already there. Tell them how they are coming inside church and your premises and begin to kill and adopt and massacre people. Don't stop reporting it. Don't stop talking about it. If you condone evil, evil will swallow you. I don't lie about what I'm saying. Of course, I said today there will be no video but next video that is loading will shock every one of you believe you me i don't lie about what i'm saying i say things the way it is and i doubt the consequences and nobody can ever stop me on this quest of self-determination or biafran restoration project i have come to stay to tell our people the reality what is coming or what is already there my great people don't ignore this message Make sure this message get to Yoruba Odudua media. Those that are controlling the media in that contraption. Let them tell them the Pierre franchise said. I said. They should begin to report everything that is happening to their people. Before it will swallow all of them. Now you begin to understand. And again, I have a short message to those Biafran people, Igbo people in particular, those of you that are sitting quiet, just looking like a donkey, and the new people are there, Mazen Namikan is in DSS Dungeon. I want you people to understand this, the elders, traditional rulers, religious region leaders, go and the representatives, go and bring your son, Mazen Namdekano out of DSS dungeon so that you can have backup. Great people, good day, and welcome.